Hello everyone. Well, in our previous video, we have already discussed that how you can fetch the response of your request. Well, in this video, we are going to discuss about how you can validate the response. That is, we are talking about the content level validation. So once you receive the response, how we should validate that the content is proper or not. As we have discussed earlier that REST Assured Framework use the Hamcrust Framework for validation. And this is the same framework which is being used by JUnit also. So we are going to use the method which is coming from Hamcrust Framework for the validation. That is content level validation. So if I go inside our project, there is Maven dependency. And if I scroll down, as you can see here, there is a jar called Hamcrust library. Now inside this jar, there is a package called org.hamcrust and inside this, there is a class called matcher. So this class contain all the method which we can use for the validation purpose. As you can see here, all the methods are static. Okay. So in order to use the method which is coming from the hamcrust framework, first we need to import it. And again, I'm going to do a static import. Because most of the method which is coming from the matcher class are static. So import static org dot hamcrust dot matcher. Now inside this test class, I'm going to add one more test method. So public void test content at the rate test annotation with this method. And I'm going to rewrite our scenario so here it will be given accept the content in json format when i perform the get method with id as 203 then the response should have brand name as del so this is our test scenario and the corresponding code will be so given dot accept content type as json after that when then the get method and as we know that our environment variable are set up that means we have already initialized our environment variable so we just need to supply the context path in the get method so which is slash find slash 203 and here we need to perform the validation so i'm going to use then instead of then return and there is a method called body so as you can see here there are, are different version of body method but i'm going to use this particular version so inside this i need to supply two argument first what i need to validate and what is corresponding value so let's say here I need to validate the brand name. I need to validate that the brand name should be equal to Dell. So again, I will go to the matcher class, press control O and search for equal. So there are three meta methods present inside this and I'm going to use this particular method that is equal to ignoring case. As we have already done the static import, that's why I can directly call this method and here I will supply the del. So automatically this particular method will perform the validation based on this value and this. So I'm going to put a breakpoint over here and run this script in a debug mode. So first we will perform the get request and then validate the content. So as you can see here the test case is getting passed. 
now let's say I supply here as del1 and again run this script So perform the get request, then verify the result. As you can see here, it is failing and it clearly says that assertion error expected was del, but actually, sorry, ignoring the class del1, but actual was del. Okay. So in this manner, you can perform the validation using the method which is coming from Hamcrest framework. Now consider a scenario, I want to validate multiple fields. That means I need to validate the brand name as well as the ID as well as the laptop name. So it is very simple. All you need to do is to supply in the form of key value pair, where key represent the what attribute you want to validate and value represent the value against which you want to perform the validation. So here I will simply put a comma, specify the ID and call the method equal so equal to 203 after that the third attribute that is laptop name and equal to ignoring cases and its value So here I'm performing the content level validation with multiple attributes. Okay, currently it's got failed. Yeah, I forgot to remove this one. Now let me run it again. So get method and then perform the validation so as you can see here this time it is getting passed let's say i modified this value and rerun it now this time our test method will fail so there is an assertion error and it clearly says that expected was 20 but actually is 203. So when you perform this particular get method and use the body method along with it automatically it will do the validation for you. So again I am going to make it as 203 and run the same script again. So this time it will get passed. So as you can see here it it get it got passed so in this manner you can validate the multiple attribute in the response so similar to ignoring equal to ignoring case there is one more method that is contains contains string so the difference between the ign, uh, equals to ignoring cases it will match for exact thing but let's say you just want to check whether the response contain this particular string so you can use this particular method okay similarly for this one and i am going to run this script so it will get passed so this particular method will check the brand name contains the dell or not and similarly the laptop name contains latitude or not so as you can see here so in this manner you can perform the content level validation in the response